Hello lovelies, thank you for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. So today's Timeless Pick a Card reading is a message from the fairies and I've just connected with the fairies and they're bringing a lovely, wonderful, uplifting, positive, playful, joyful energy through and I can't wait to work with them. So choose the fairy image that resonates with you the most. If if you resonate with more than one, then choose more than one. And as always, take the information that feels right for you and leave anything that doesn't. And before I go, remember to check the description box below for the links to my website for the courses for the new membership group coming up and to find out what else is going on in my life and what I'm doing to help you lovely souls so I will see you in the readings Hello group one, thank you for joining me, I hope you're well. So I'm going to choose, oh one wants to come out, choosing a few cards to get the reading started off with. That one's turned over and I'm going to use a fairy tarot deck today, which I don't use very often but I thought seeing as we're talking about the fairies today, talking to the fairies. We'll get their cards. I'm also going to use the butterfly oracle because the butterflies always remind me of fairies. Right, oh, there's two come out there. I only meant to get one. Okay, 21 joy. That's a perfect card to link with the fairies, isn't it? Because they're full of joy. Number five, change. Number 13, affinity. We've got... Two, the High Priestess, the Eight of Summer, Moving, and Finances. And I'm going to get one more from The Secrets of One Wood. Believe. Oh, what lovely cards are coming out in this reading. I can't wait to get stuck into it. Okay. So group one, the message is clear here really. You've got a very positive change coming into your life. Some of you might be in the phase, you might have just started the phase right now as you listen to this message. I feel it's very um, present imminent so if if this positive change hasn't happened yet then it's in the works and this could be to do with any area of life I'm picking up a few different areas such as home work connections so pick one that suits you Um, it might be that you've got changes positive change going on in more than one area of your life because remember that what's going on in our life is a reflection of what's going on inside of us. And if you've got big positive changes going on inside of you, then that could very well be reflected into more than one area of your life. So yay, group one. So this positive change that the fairies want to talk to you about today, this is much more in alignment with who you are now. I feel that you, group number one, have gone through a lot of growth recently, maybe over the last few months, certainly over the last year or two, and your external circumstances are catching up now with what is going on inside of you and that's what this reading is all about. So for some of you this could relate to moving house, it could relate to um, if you work for yourself or if you work from home or your job, it could be some kind of positive shift with work where you're moving into something better. Could be a better job, better pay, better situation. Um, maybe you've got a new project coming in, that sort of thing. And if it relates to connections in your life and you've got people in your life that are coming in that you are more in aligned with, they're more like your soul tribe than anyone that you've had in your life before. I might just need to take a short break. The little kitty cats are having a bit of a play fight in the room. 
Oh no, one of them's given up. It's okay, we can carry on. <laughs> Bless them. Right, let's get on with the reading. So the other thing I notice on this top line, we've got the colours on the bottom of the cards of red, yellow and orange, okay, which are all quite positive, uplifting colours for change going on inside of you that relates to things happening in your life, physically, emotionally, mentally. It's quite a lot of change, okay. If you can hear that, that's little uh, Toby there. He's, <laughs> he's chasing his tail at the moment. So the other thing I noticed with these three cards, we've got 21, which adds up to 3, 13, which adds up to 4 and 5. So you've got 3, 4 and 5. So this is showing this nice forward progression, this nice moving forward for your group one, where you might have been through, I sense that some of you actually have been through, some kind of difficult transition where you've had a few difficult months that you're glad to put behind you. You might have felt stuck or stalled or delayed or hit obstacles with something, but now you've got the forward movement and that's what the fairies are coming in to tell you today. And we've got this lovely card with the sunflowers on and all this lovely energy here with the yellow sparkles and the buttercup. Both of those are very uplifting, bright and happy energies. So this change that's coming in for your group one, it's going to make you really happy. It really is. You're going to be smiling from ear to ear. So let's have a look at this bottom row here and get some more insight. Now, if we put the joy card, the affinity card with those two, we can get kind of a, a connection going on here. Right, so I get the sense that you might have been through a confusing time or you might have been doubtful or uncertain of what to do. Maybe you lacked in confidence or a bit of self-belief or there was something lacking. It feels like you've had a bit of a, a difficult time, as I've mentioned, but things that things weren't very clear for you. But what's coming in for you now, group one, is that you're going to be getting clear intuitive nudges. You might even be seeing a few positive signs that the fairies will be showing you, especially if you go out walking in nature. So look for things like white feathers if they pop up on your path. White daisies are a really positive sign as well. It depends where you live, obviously. But there might be some signs that are local to you that you know are, are like good luck signs, that sort of thing. And where you know that spirit is reaching out to you saying, things are going to be okay, don't worry, we've got your back. So the fairies are saying, spend some time in nature as well. This is their playground, isn't it, nature? If you've got anything that you need to make a decision for, the fairies are just saying, go out in nature because it will help to clear any fuzzy energy and any fuzzy thoughts. And it will help you to put yourself in touch with your intuition and with your heart space. And those are the best places to get the answers from and if you've got to make a decision that's where you want to get your answers from because your heart space will always show you a path that's best for you and your intuition senses the energy of a situation so you can tune into what feels right for you okay group one so i also feel that this positive change that's coming in for you. This isn't happening by accident at all. You know, this is something that you've been working towards in some way. It might be that you've been working on yourself to clear out some old energy to make way for this new change. Or it might be that you have had to make some changes in the 3D reality in your physical life where you've had to have a clear out of activities, things in the house, people in your life, clearing out something to do with work or your job, you know, bringing something to an end. But I, I do get the sense that you for quite a long while, group one, have been yearning for something better, something more, because you've reached that point where you know that you do deserve better. And that energy in you, that self-worth is an energy that I feel is growing and growing and growing. And it's grown to the point now where, as I've said, you are now at that point of manifesting this positive change into your external life because the change has gone on inside of you. Okay. I can see the fairies dancing around you in a circle at the moment. They're, um, they look like they're just kind of 
holding hands and skipping around you and then there's one in the middle that's putting a daisy chain in your hair (laughs) oh they're so sweet I love their energy so I'm really glad that they've come through today right now if we look at these two middle cards here I mean look at that you've got change and moving and here we've got the house this one of the meanings of this card is to do with moving house and we've got the dragonflies here carrying the house across the sunflower field so I feel that for most of you this either relates to moving home or some kind of move to do with a business or work so it like I said it might be moving jobs it might be moving into a better position it might be moving on to a new project it might be moving into better pay whatever it is it's something better for you something that is more in alignment with the person that you're becoming because you're becoming more of your self group one and the fairies want you to know that because you've been working hard on that and becoming more of yourself. This is like the reward that is coming into your life now. This is what you are manifesting, okay? I get the sense also that there might be one or two of you out there listening who are very sensitive and who are going to be experiencing a few tears of joy in the coming months at the things that are happening in your life because you might have had it hard for a while and you might almost have given up hope and when these positive changes are coming in it's like this amazing relief that's Toby agreeing (laughs) it's this amazing feeling of relief that washes over you and also gratitude for what's coming in yeah and I can see some of you crying with joy Some of you might do a bit of a victory dance though. (laughs) So take what resonates, group one. Okay, now if we move on to these cards here on the right hand side, I always see the cards on the right as energy that is more in the future, something that is coming in a bit further down the line. Now, it's interesting we've got the Believe card here, which I absolutely love that card. We've got Finances and Affinity. Now, what I'm seeing here is that because you're moving in alignment with yourself more and therefore your life is reflecting that, this is also allowing the door to open to abundance where you might have been struggling with finances in the past with wondering if you're going to have enough money coming in to pay the bills or maybe you haven't been earning a decent living or getting paid well for what you've been doing, whatever it is, I feel that in some way most of you have been struggling with the financial issues, with um, your thoughts around abundance and what you deserve to receive. But the energy that's coming in with these positive changes, I see that changing for you. And the more that you can believe in yourself, group one, and what you are capable of, and also what you believe that you deserve, that is going to help this energy of abundance to multiply, okay? The fairies are saying that be the more of yourself, they're saying be more of yourself and you receive more abundance. So the more of yourself you can be, the more in alignment with who you are, the more in alignment with your own truth that you live, that's when you will receive more abundance in your life. And they're saying to me, make a wish, make a wish right now, group one. Close your eyes and think of something that you would like very dearly and the fairies are saying wish for it and imagine yourself do you know the dandelion seed heads blow the seeds off into the wind and the fairies will catch them these are your wishes and take them away and grant your wishes in due course okay so tap into your heart center what your heart most wants and make that wish right now, group one. The fairies are ready to catch your wish and to help to manifest it. They're telling me they're going to be sprinkling some of their magical dust on it to help it to grow and evolve in the spirit realm on an energy level first, 
and then it will become a physical reality. Wow, that sounds amazing, group one. I think I'm going to make a wish as well. (laughs) Okay, let's get a few final messages from these quick message cards. They're also actually, they're telling me, just give me a message before I choose these, that something that is destined for you, something that you've been waiting for for a long time is coming in, group one. This is a destined thing. This is something that you won't miss. It's something that you've been wanting for a long time. Some of you might have even forgotten about it for a while, but whatever, whatever it is, it's coming in. The the fairies are helping you to manifest this. It might be the wish that you've just made, but it could be something in addition to that. Okay. They're telling me that it is something that is destined for you. It's part of your life's purpose, your soul's mission, what you wanted. And it feels very positive as well. Oh goodness me, look at that. I wish coming too. <laughs> Talk about synchronicity, group one. I can't believe that. <laughs> Hope you made your wish. You're on the right path. That is another very, very positive sign, isn't it? Because like I say, I think things have been hard for you for a while, group one. And you weren't on the wrong path, you know. This is the fairies just confirming you were on the right path. You needed to go through what you went through for soul growth, for evolution at the soul level, you know. I bet you're not the same person that you were a couple of years ago. I bet you've changed more than you can imagine. Just give yourself a few minutes after this reading and look back on who you were a couple of years ago and look at how much you've changed and then give yourself a great big hug or a pat on the back or whatever you want to do to congratulate yourself for going through this massive transformation that you've been through. Okay, group one, you deserve the best weight. Okay, so that is... What's the weight? Oh, the wish. Oh, <laughs> they're just, the fairies are just saying, yeah, just wait. Yeah. The wish, the wish that you've made group one, it's going to take a little while to manifest it. Okay. So be patient with it. Don't kind of rush it in. Just give the fairies chance to energize it for you, to bring it into being and if ever you want to speak to the fairies, asking me to say this to you before I go. If ever you want to speak to the fairies, you can do that at any time. You don't have to be in nature, but the energy of the fairy realm and the other elementals is strongest in nature. So either go into nature where their energy is strongest and speak to them in your mind or out loud. They don't mind whichever way. Or you can speak to them wherever you are from inside of yourself as long as you kind of try to clear your mind a little bit so it's not too noisy and you speak very clearly and ask them to come in to connect with you and when they come in you'll feel this very uplifting happy joyful playful energy wash over you these lovely feelings and that is the fairies okay and they're just giving you, okay, they're just handing over to you a little posy of flowers that they've collected, wild flowers, just to finish the reading off with. They're so, makes me want to cry. The energy of them, it's so beautiful. Bless them. Thank you, fairies. So I hope you found that reading helpful, group one. Please let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you have. I'm going to go because I feel like I'm going to cry. So thank you for listening and I'll see you again. Hello group two, thanks for joining me in the reading. I hope you're doing well. Let's get some cards chosen. The energy in the first reading with the fairies being there, it was absolutely lovely and I almost cried at the end. (laughs) I just love the fairy energy. It was so uplifting. Okay, I'm going to use the fairy tarot as well today. And the butterfly oracle, because butterflies often remind me of the fairies. 
And then the secrets of Wandwood. Okay, let's see what we've got here. 33 Truth, 21 Joy, that came out in the last reading, 36 Wisdom. Now look at that, 3, 6 and 9. Wow, magical manifestation numbers. Number 7, The Chariot. Finances, that came out in the last reading. How interesting and open. Right, group two, what I sense from this reading, the fairies are telling me that you've got some kind of um, success or reward or recognition or, or payment, something is coming back to you, okay? So I feel that some of you are waiting on some kind of news. Um, now, this could be news that comes in from another person or from a group or from a, a, a situation. It's to do with a situation. I think that you've been waiting on hearing something about a situation. The fairies are saying that you've got some good news to coming to you. So some of you are waiting on some news, but for some of you, this isn't um, news in, in the way that you've been waiting to hear from someone as such. It's more to do with the fact that something um, that you've been working on or putting your energy and effort into is going to pay back be successful, come back to you, okay? I feel that you've been working towards something. For some of you, this could be in connection with work, but not necessarily. There's some kind of um, project or situation, experience that you've been putting energy into, putting time into, putting effort into, working hard at for quite a while, and you've been waiting patiently and now it's going to come to fruition and the fairies are saying you're going to hear soon or you're going to receive some kind of indication or reward or news about it soon to do with its um, success. I hope this makes sense. It's coming through as if it's kind of... Um, it feels like it's all a bit tangled up. It's very strange. It's like the, it's like the messages that are coming through. Imagine that they're on pieces of string and it's like all the pieces of string are tangled. Now, I'm going to say that I think that this is in something in connection with you group two where things haven't been clear for you as to whatever this is, this situation. I don't think it's been very clear as to how it's going to progress. I can see the mist in the background on this card and the mist can often relate to confusion or a lack of clarity. And I think that you've been pursuing something or, you know, putting all this hard work into something and you just haven't been sure how it's going to turn out. You've been hoping, but you just haven't been sure. And so the fairies are coming in. Oh, good. They're untangling the the lines now of communication so yeah so you might have felt like you weren't able to see clearly or to figure things out easily maybe things have been maybe maybe it's felt like you know your thoughts have been a bit tangled around this situation and you haven't been able to figure something out but the fairies are saying there is some kind of good news coming in for you group two okay where it's going to where things are going to make more sense. For some of you, you're going to see some kind of victory or success. And that could relate to recognition or receiving something. It could be money or a reward or maybe um, something is completing for you. But whatever it is, this is a this is a good news situation. This is a positive outcome for you, group two, because we've got this lovely joy card here. That was my little kitty, if you heard him just then. Um, so yeah, whatever you've been waiting on, and I think that you might have been waiting a while to get the outcome of this, it's going to be positive. I feel I do get the impression. 
that some of you have been hoping for some money coming in on something and I don't feel that it's going to be quite the amount that you were hoping for but the fairies are saying please just be patient a little bit longer because all is not lost okay there is something in your energy they're showing me they're showing me your solar plexus energy actually there's some kind of blockage in your solar plexus energy in relation to your how you feel about yourself, your self-worth, your self-belief and your feelings around abundance. There's something in there, there's something in your solar plexus that there's a bit of a blockage or there's a hole there or there's something that is affecting the flow of energy and it's affecting the flow of abundance and the flow of money for some of you into your life. And so you might not have been receiving not just money, but other things as well. You might not have been receiving as much as you've been hoping for in whatever way that relates to you. You know, it could be um, some kind of recognition, reward, or just success in general, you know, it could relate to connections as well, where you're not kind of get receiving enough in your connections, it could relate to many things. But the fairies are saying that they're actually going to help you to clear this energy in your solar plexus. So you've got this good news coming in. But for some of you, it isn't going to be quite what you've hoped for the fairies yeah so I'm just come I just want to make clarify this message here so for some of you it's not going to be what you hoped for but the fairies are saying don't give up faith okay because the situation is going to improve so they are going to help you to clear your solar plexus to improve your energy your thoughts your belief around receiving around how you see yourself and what you think you're worth and how much you think you deserve okay there's something that's happened in your past that has affected this um, in your life and you've been through phases where you haven't been receiving enough it might have been a long phase for some of you but the fairies are saying that this is something that's being worked on you're getting help with this you might be working on it yourself but you are getting help from the other dimensions and the fairies are stepping forward saying they're helping you with this as well group two okay it's like um there's something that you need to understand from your past that is just slowing down the abundance at the moment and they're going to help you to see this. They're showing me the um, the daisy energy actually because daisies are really good for the energy of feeling um, clear-minded, gaining clarity in your thoughts. I don't know if any of you are into flower essences but that the essence for the daisies is really good for that. So the daisies are help, helping you to open up your energy, open up your mind and to fish out anything in there. This is their words. Fish out anything in there that's not in alignment with you receiving as much as you can receive, you know. I feel group two you do deserve so much more than what you think you do. Uh, but I also feel this good news that's coming in for you, it feels like it's the beginning of something, you know, because where this is taking you to, this good news, whatever it is, is going to come in in a positive way for you. It's the beginning of something better and what comes in for you in relation to this, whether it's to do with a project or work or whatever it is, even if it isn't what you hope for right now, the fairies are saying it is just the first step and there's going to be more and there's going to be more and there's going to be more coming in in the future. They keep saying to me, please don't give up hope. Don't give up faith, group two. They are helping you, okay? At the moment, I'm being very drawn to this image on here. They're kind of saying there's a new world out there and you're standing at the window looking at it and you're just in this phase at the moment that is like 
you're standing at the door and you haven't walked through the door yet to this new world. So this is what the fairies are helping you to do. I'm going to choose a couple more cards. Um, let's get another one of the fairy cards to get some more insight into this. It's been, it has felt a little bit confusing. As I say, it felt like the lines of communication have been tangled, but I really feel like that relates to how you've been feeling group two with this situation. Four of spring and family changes, okay. So I feel that these are the energies coming in for you um, a little bit further down the line where it's this feeling of something so much better. So this is the fairies coming in to reassure you that even if things aren't working out quite as you have wanted, and even when you get this new, this good news, if it still isn't quite as good as you'd hoped, something better is coming. This is the confirmation of it. We've got the four of spring. Four can relate to the family because we've got this family changes card here. But I feel that this is some kind of energy that is being created inside of you where you're starting to feel more at home with yourself more in alignment with who you are. And I feel for some of you, you've been getting a stronger connection to other beings, you know, spirit beings, maybe for some of you, the fairies. And as this connection is developing, this is helping you to receive these more uplifting feelings and because you're kind of, I feel like you're really stepping beyond yourself, group two. I feel like you're in a big stage of transformation and you haven't gone through it yet, but you are stepping. It's like you're stepping through portals one at a time and each one is taking you to a better place and a better place. So... This good news that I mentioned at the beginning that is coming in for you, that's like, that's just you stepping through one portal. So there is more and more and more to come. And each time it's going to get better and better and better. So if this relates to you when relate um, with work, group two, it might be that you've been working on a project hasn't quite turned out as you wanted, but you've done well with it. You've got some reward or recognition for it, whatever that kind of thing. But I feel that there is so much more for you to learn that's going to help you to step up and up and up and go through these other portals that are going to take you higher and bring in more. And while you go through this transformational process, it's going to keep changing you and it's going to keep opening you up more and helping you to tap into your inner confidence, your inner stability, your inner self-belief. I feel that for some of you who are connected with your intuition or connected with spirit and you do trust your intuition, I think that you've been getting some intuitive nudges recently that you might have been doubting, but the fairies are saying you are, you are spot on with your intuition. Please trust it. Okay. Group two. So. I just want to get some final messages from these quick messages, message cards. The message here, it's about being patient because things are getting better. You are going to get some kind of reward and it's going to keep improving. That's the gist of it, isn't it? Like I say, it's felt a bit tangled, this message. It's very strange. <laughs> right, we've got not yet, very soon, happy surprise. <laughs> Not yet and very soon. Okay, fairies, what are those two? That's contradicting each other. Oh, okay. They're confirming about if some of you don't get the reward or recognition that you wanted, that you would hoped for. I, I do feel you're going to get some, but it might not be the, the level that you wanted. So that's the fairy saying, yes, it's not yet. 
because you've got this energy in your solar plexus that is needing to be cleared out that the fairies are helping you with. This very soon, though, this is the fairies saying, yes, this journey that you're on, the level that you're going to next, it's going to come in in the next few months for you. And you're going to see some more good news coming in. That's what they're saying. Some more good news. Okay. And this happy surprise, because this is something that is going to be, well, if it like, right. So if this good news hasn't been quite as good as you wanted it to be, the fairies are saying this happy surprise is going to be something that comes in that's better than you imagine. So it's kind of like it's going to balance itself out a little bit, group two. And please don't be disappointed. The fairies are saying, please don't be disappointed if things aren't as good as you hoped. It isn't going to be much longer before you see an improvement. I feel that for some of you, you are going to be happy with this good news that comes in. But I think that you are going to keep working and hoping and moving towards more. And this is what the fairies are helping you all with, is to get to a better place. But they're saying that it's going to come in in stages, okay? It's like a step up and a step up. Like I say, going through one portal to the next, to the next. Because this transformation that you're going through, group two, this is a big one. And it's not the sort of phase that you're in at the moment where things happen in a huge, big way that are life-shattering changes you know this is kind of a more gentle phase that you're going through at the moment and it's about having faith and hope and trusting that things are going to keep getting better because you want consistency consistent results and consistent improvement and that's what's coming in for you group two so I hope that's helped the fairies have been saying to me all the way through the reading don't give up hope don't lose faith, okay? They are helping you. So I would love to hear from you in the comments group too, how that relates to you. And give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you so much for listening. Have a lovely day. Hello, group three. Thanks for joining me in the reading. I hope you're doing okay. So let's get some cards chosen. I've been loving the energies of the fairies so far. They're so uplifting and positive. Okay, so we've got 31 Retreat, 21 Joy, do you know what? That Joy card has come out in all the readings so far, and that is exactly the energy that the fairies bring through. We've got 28 Decide, so how wonderful is that? They're sprinkling their lovely fairy dust on us all as we're listening and doing this reading. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the fairy, um, fairy tarot here. Let's give this a good shuffle. Get a couple of these. We've got Queen of Summer and Ace of Winter. And I'm using the Butterfly Oracle because butterflies remind me of fairies as well. Join in and adult children. And then I think I'm going to get a couple of these as well. Secrets of Wandwood. Tradition and Cherish. Let's just move those up. Okay, what I'm noticing actually is these, these three cards from the Life Signs Oracle, my deck. We've got blue, yellow and green and the green is blue and yellow. And then on the numbers, that's four and that's three and that's one and one and three add up to four. So you've got some nice synchronicity here with the numbers and the colours where things are like working out. They're, they're, yeah, things are working out for you, group three. That's what I sense initially. I feel like, yeah, some, I feel like something has worked out for you really well recently. And you're now coming into a time where you can just have a bit of a break, have a step back, 
kind of do the thing that resonates with you when you like to rest and recharge and recover your energy. Or for some of you, this is about you wanting to find some new inspiration for something new that you're wanting to start. And the fairies are saying that once you go into that quiet space, however it is that resonates with you, whether you meditate or do yoga or you like to go walking and contemplating, whatever it is, the fairies are going to help you to recover your energy first of all, but also they're telling me they're going to, they're planting little bits of fairy dust in your mind as like these new seeds of inspiration for something that is going to come in next for you. Okay. Because what I, I pick up the most with the, the message from the fairies in this reading is about you taking time to breathe, to think, to feel, to heal, you know, to recover, to rest, to recharge, to sleep. Just, it's like finding your center again. If something has been going on in your life where you've been busy recently, this is the message from the fairies. They're helping you to take this time out next. Okay. Yeah, so what they're saying is there's a, a time coming in for you where you're going to feel quite at home with yourself, where you're going to be moving into this place of feeling quite um, appreciative and cherishing things. It's like you've got this energy building inside of you of where you're noticing more, where you're being thankful more, where you're probably seeing little miracles in life and the fairies are saying this is a growing energy, a growing feeling inside of you that you have been working hard towards to achieve because you've been clearing your energy a lot, clearing your thoughts, clearing your beliefs, clearing your emotions and you're moving into this place where you're seeing things in a different way where you're appreciating things where you're looking at the same thing that you've looked at for years and it looks different now and it's like you're seeing beauty in it there's this very strong energy it's this card here this feeling of cherishing and feeling grateful and this is, this is an inner state of being, the fairies are saying, that you need to be in when you want to think up new ideas, when you want to make changes or make decisions in your life. When you've got something to decide, something to work on in your mind, the fairies are saying that the best inner state to get yourself into group three is that mindset of gratitude, appreciation, seeing beauty, you know, seeing beyond the surface of something, seeing its inner beauty rather than what it looks like on the outside. I also see that some of you are noticing more the cycles in life. I feel that you are really getting in tune with how can I put this into words? Um, everything happens in cycles in life, in the world, in our personal lives, inside of us, in the universe, whatever it is, everything always happens in cycles. It's like we are going around on a wheel where we revisit things, where things begin. You have the middle and then the end and then they begin again, you know, and it's always this cycle of movement and change and birth and death and, death and evolution and all of that. And this, this feeling that's coming through is that you are tapping into this cycle of change you're seeing it more group three, you're seeing more of it in life and you're beginning to appreciate it more and how it's affecting you and your life and even other people's lives or, or the external world, what's going on in the world. And I feel that you are, gosh, this, this feels like a very different reading to the other two. It's like 
It's like the sparkles have come into your life. I believe that the fairies have been present for a while and they've been sprinkling fairy dust on you for a while and they've been opening you up and opening up your heart and opening up your mind. And, and they're saying to me that you've stepped up to a new higher level group three and that you are getting more in touch with a different reality. You're getting more in tune with yourself, with spirit, with the fairies, whoever, whatever beings resonate with you, that you are starting to build this connection with them much stronger. So the fairies are saying that they are here primarily at the moment in your life to bring you this joy. They are there when you feel down, they are there uplifting you. They're sprinkling their positive, <laughs> positive potions on you. <laughs> That's what they're saying. Their positive potions trying to uplift you. And this energy that I was picking up on of you seeing things differently, of you appreciating more and being in this place of gratitude. This is the fairies have been helping you with this and they're going to continue helping you. I feel that some of you have moved into this energy and some of you are just moving into it where there's going to be this phase coming in for you where you're in that that state of being, you know, that wonderful uplifting state of being, of not seeing the world as a horrible, evil, dark place, but seeing all the joy and the beauty and the miracles in the world. So there's a, there's another message coming through here. I'm picking up a few different messages here in this reading. It was quite different for the other two readings where um, for some of you, the fairies are saying there's a group that you've been thinking of joining recently. It could be in person or something online, but the fairies are encouraging this endeavor for you. Again, they're sprinkling their positive fairy dust and their potions onto the situation so that it works out really well for you. Okay. For some of you, this might even relate to some kind of volunteer work or helping out with something. Um, but whatever it is, it's, it's there to bring a very positive shift in your life and a positive experience for you. And it's going to be a situation where you feel more connected with the people that are involved than you might have done in the past in groups or situations that you've been involved in with other people. I feel that they, the people that you're going to be connecting with are more on your page and they're more in alignment with you. They're going to be more sensitive, more compassionate. You know, they're going to be um, more on your frequency level because you've been putting all this inner work into yourself, group three. You know, you've changed on a personal, deep, deep personal level and a spiritual level. And so you're moving into this place where you're now connecting with people who are more in alignment with you. And because you're working on your own sensitivity, your own compassionate nature, and how you treat yourself as well as how you treat others. This is with, this is what's going to be reflected now in your life, where there are people coming in that are more in alignment with you and those positive qualities. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I did get this strong sense that some of you have reached the end of something or something is completed and you're moving into this phase of just needing to take some time out because the fairies want to plant some new inspiration and new ideas into your mind. And I feel that this could be connected with this new group for some of you it could connect with this. So it could be this new path that you're thinking of going on. I don't see it as a big major thing um, to do with work or anything like that, but this is something more on a personal level that you're doing. And I feel that when you do connect with these people, they could actually help to inspire you as well. Okay. So I feel that you're going to have something in common with these people where you might have been going through some similar stuff that you can share your experiences with and can, can connect with each other in that way. The fairies are saying that this is going to be a very blessed 
experience for you. It's a blessed group, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're planning to do, um, whether it's, you know, joining a group physically online or helping out with something, it is a blessed, a blessed experience, the fairies are saying. And it's going to work out in a very positive way for you, group three. Isn't that lovely? Let's get some of these quick message cards just to finish the reading off with. Got the sun creeping into the reading on the edge there. You've got the light coming in. <laughs> Okay, let's see what we've got here. Truth, everything is as it's meant to be and don't give up, it's going to work out. Okay, so truth, I feel that this is you, group three, living by your truth more and more each day. This is this person that you're becoming where you are really tapping into the true you, where you're starting to be your more authentic self, where you're not afraid to speak your truth and live by your truth and show others the true you. And this is what has been, this is what you've been working on isn't it group three and this is what's going to pay off for you you know because this is what will bring you in alignment with people who are like you when you are more of your true self I feel that some of you have been through some major challenges and this is this message here and this what these two everything is as it's meant to be and don't give up it's going to work out I think that you've probably hit some major challenges in your life the energy, the overall energy of this group feels like old souls or you are traveler souls, star seeds. You know, you, you, you're kind of not from, you're not a typical earth soul. You're not from the earth experience, as I call it, but you're from elsewhere. And because of that, I think that you've had some difficult experiences to go through in this lifetime, as is often the case for those of us that, have, that are here for this time in history. And this is the fairies coming in saying that they've watched you go through some hard times and they've watched you be weighed down by such heaviness. And they're saying to you that this heaviness is leaving your life. And that some of you are feeling that already, but it's going to continue getting lighter and easier. Don't give up. It's going to work out and better. Yeah. So things are improving for you, group three. So they're also saying to me, because I've mentioned a couple of times about you needing to take a step back to get some new inspiration. The fairies are saying there are some things that need to be worked out first. So for some of you that can relate to um, something in the past that's happened that you will be getting a realisation or two on. But for others of you, this is about you kind of figuring things out for what's to come. So it's like you need to take a breathing space and I feel that this group that I've mentioned is in connection with this is something that you could, that you can do in your time out or take time out to connect with, you know, there's this reading has got, I'm not picking up anything to do with work or busyness or the usual 3D things that go on in our everyday reality. This is a kind of a much more deeper spiritual energy that is coming through here for you group three where you're needing to it's self-care self-care some self-time some me time you know you time rather um where you need to um put yourself first and the fairies are going to help you with that so if anything has been going on recently that has been unsettling you it's going to move out of your life the fairies are saying everything is progressing to a <laughs> cuddly fluffy warm place I say Oh, don't you love them? I just love them. They're so joyful and playful and so very uplifting. So, yeah. 
you got moving into a much better place, group three. So I hope you've got the gist of that message. It felt a bit bitty. Um, but I think this is the fairies because they're kind of, they've kind of been dancing around and darting around a lot and putting all these different ideas into my head. And I like to, um, I like to give a reading as a whole rather than lots of little bits, you know. So I do hope that you've made sense of that reading, Group 3. So I'm going to draw it to a close, but you've got some there's some wonderful energy coming in for you and the fairies are definitely helping you. So thank you for listening. I'd love to hear from you in the comments what you thought of the reading and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day, Group 3. I'll see you again. Hello group four, thank you for joining me in the reading, I hope you're doing okay. So I'm going to choose a few cards to bring the fairy energy in with. The readings have been interesting today and I love connecting with fairy energy, it's so uplifting. We've got 7 release, 47 love and 23 unique. Wow, those are interesting cards. Let's get a couple of cards from the fairy tarot. Thought I'd use this one today. I don't normally use this deck. We've got 17 the star, 7 of winter. I'm going to get a couple of these cards from the butterfly oracle because butterflies look like fairies, don't they? Retirement and emotions. And then I think actually going to get a couple of these cards from the Secrets of Wandwood as well. Mindfulness. Caring. Okay. So I notice on the three cards from my deck, the Life Signs Oracle, we've got seven, that's eleven and five. 11 is 2. 5 and 2 add up to 7, so you've got some nice synchronicity there with the numbers. Also got another 7 there. So you've got a strong 7 energy, and then you've got the 7 in the 17 as well on the star. So for those of you listening to this reading, I really get the strong sense that this is in connection to a relationship that has ended. It might be recent, it might be a little while ago, it might be just about to go through the ending. Um, but whatever it is, whatever the time frame is for you with this reading, the fairies are coming through to say their main message is to give yourself some time to heal from this okay group four. So I sense that the person that this has been in connection with has been quite a, a significant influence on your life. Um, for a f one or two of you, this could relate to a relationship from quite a while ago that was quite important in some way or quite influential on you, but that you still got the energy of it in, in your energy. So whenever this is relating to, this person has had come some kind of significant impact in, on your life. For some of you, that could be a, a good impact. For some of you, it might not have been such a good impact. But whatever it was, it has been a karmic relationship. You've had karma with this person that you've needed to balance out in this lifetime. So when the relationship ended or ends, when it's ending, if it's coming in now, the ending, then that's happening because you have... Um, come to a point where you've balanced the karma between you. And when that happens, when you, when you balance karma with someone and when you learn the lessons that your soul agreed to learn in the connection, then the connection naturally comes to its end. And that's what I feel that this reading is about for you, group four. Okay. So this is the message from the fairies saying that that 
contract, that soul contract that you had with this other soul that has finished, okay? So the next part of the journey for you, group four, is lots and lots of self-care, lots and lots of self-love and giving yourself time to heal and to clear the energy of the connection out of your energy. For those of you where this was quite a while ago, but you still got the energy of the connection in your energy, there is something that's kind of like it's stuck in you where it needs to be cleared out. So the fairies are saying there's something that you need to do on an energy level to clear your energy. This can relate to all of you though, whatever stage you're at with this. The fairies are saying all of you need to engage in some kind of energy cleansing. So there are lots of different ways that you can do that because it resonate, it might resonate differently with each of you. Spending time in nature is very healing and de-stressing and can clear your energy. But there are also lots of energy, holistic therapies that you can engage in. There are, if you like, crystals, flower essences, using sage or meditating you know there are so many different ways that you can clear your energy so go with what works for you group four okay but the main message that the circus fairies are saying is please take care of yourself okay give yourself time to go through this change and this release because once you do once that stuck energy releases from your energy field you're going to feel quite different they're saying because you've got this person's energy with you still it's actually influencing who you are or how you feel or how you behave as a person it's like it's almost like that person has rubbed off on you in some way and it's affecting you and you might not be fully aware of how much it's affecting you and this is why the fairies are coming in saying you really need to clear your energy because once you do it's going to be like wow I had no idea how much that was impacting me. And you're going to be, come more of yourself. You're going to become more of you, more of yourself. And you might see some changes in your thoughts or your ideas or your thought processes or your beliefs or that kind of thing. You might see some changes in relation to how you feel and the emotions that you're experiencing and how you react to things. There could be all kinds of changes coming in that could be different for each of you. But this is going to be a very healing and deeply replenishing phase that is coming in for you, group four, that you really need to go for, through to bring a better you in. It's like you've been clogged up with this other person's energy for such a long time that you haven't realised that, that, that it's there, that their energy is there. So the fairies are saying it's going to take um, a different amount of time for each of you to clear this energy because it all depends on who that person was to you and how long they were in your life for and how much of an impact their energy has had on you. Okay. I feel that for some of you, you might have been going along with things that you didn't really want to go along with and that might be still happening and it is a lot to do with this energy of this other person that's affecting you and it might have been hard for some of you as well to... It could be, yeah, I'm picking up for some of you that this person might have been quite negative or pessimistic. So it might have made it harder for you, group four, to be hopeful and optimistic about things. And this heavy energy might have been weighing you down for a while. You know, if things have been anything that's been going on in your life, no matter what it is, if, if you've been hitting challenges, you might have been finding it hard to focus on the positive of the situation or you might have been finding it hard to be hopeful that things are going to work out okay and the fairies are saying this isn't you, this isn't the true you, 
this isn't your energy that's been making you feel like that. This is the energy of this other person. I'm not saying that for all of you, this other person has been an awful person. I think it's just their energy has been a lot heavier than yours is. And I think that it's been weighing you down and having some kind of big impact on you. So the fairies are saying, make sure you're giving yourself time to heal, to rest, to work through the changes and to release the energy. They're saying it's not going to happen overnight. And for some of you, this is going to happen in stages where it's like one day you'll realize that you feel a bit better and then it'll be a few weeks or a few days will go by. And then all of a sudden you have another day where you think, oh, feel better again and it's kind of like it's going to lift off you like that in stages and for those of you where this has had a big impact on you this connection it isn't going to happen in one go where it clears because it will be too much for you to deal with and the fairies are saying also to have um Okay, to give your body a clear clear out as well. Give your body a cleanse because what happens is, so when your energy is clearing, you get, right, they're, they're just reminding me, yeah. Um, <laughs> so when you've got a blockage in your energy, it usually, eventually, manifests as some kind of, of a blockage in your physical body where you get a buildup of toxins somewhere. If you've got any weak points in your body or you've had any health problems, be aware of that, that it could be blocked energy. So the fairies are saying, as you clear your energy field, you also need to clear out your body of toxins because what will happen when you're doing this clearing and cleansing and healing is that the toxins in your physical body, it's like they will suddenly be released from wherever they've been stored and they'll be going around your bloodstream and they need some help. The fairies are saying you need to help them, help your body in releasing these toxins. Okay, so give yourself an internal cleanse. Um, so do whatever works for you. You know, there are all kinds of ways to do a physical detox. So, so do what works for you. And then they're showing me this image now that once you've done this, this lovely cleansing, you're going to be hopping, skipping and jumping about because of how much better you feel and how much lighter you feel and how much clearer you feel it's like your mind and emotions it's all going to be clearer and it's all going to feel a lot brighter and a lot better and for some of you you're going to feel this new lease on life and you're going to get this sense of like a new connection with yourself and with life and you might get some new ideas coming in for you I'm going to get a few of these quick message cards. There are some emotions, the fairies are saying you've got some emotions to clear, some outdated beliefs to clear, some negative thoughts to clear, lots of clearing. But I feel that, I don't feel, it, this isn't like some big, enormous, major unpleasant kind of clearing that's going on it doesn't feel like that at all it feels very uplifting and I think because the fairies are coming in talking about it it's going to be quite a positive experience for you right we've got stay out of your head it's a maybe and no don't even go there okay interesting cards so stay out of your head this is the message from the fairy saying, please don't keep thinking about this person. Once they're out of your life, you need to let them go. And every time that you think about them, it's like you're reforming the connection back to them and the connection needs to break. So please don't keep thinking about them. But more specifically, if there's been any challenges in the relationship, the fairies are saying, please don't focus on those. 
because that it's creating more heavy energy in you when you do that okay and that's what this is about no don't even go there don't put yourself back into any old conversations or old memories or old experiences that weren't good for you because it will recreate this blockage um it's like it will come in again for you and make it feel like it's present okay and fairies are saying that you don't need to go to the past anymore you can let go of that this it's a maybe card Okay, so the fairies are saying there's something going on for you at the moment where you're waiting on the outcome of something. It could be in connection with work, but it might be something else, you know. I feel like you're kind of, you've been um, waiting on finding out something at the moment and the fairies, they're not giving a definite answer. Maybe you've been asking or maybe you've even been listening to some pick a card readings to try and get some insight into what's going to happen. And the fairies are saying, you're not meant to know just yet. So they're saying it's a maybe, which is basically not a yes and not a no, is it? Oh, that's frustrating when you get that card. Um, so yeah, they're saying you're not meant to know the outcome. So please be patient and remain positive. So but what I was saying earlier about you might have been finding it hard to be positive and optimistic about things group for, um, what they're saying to me now is that you, okay, the outcome isn't going to be affected by whether you're thinking it's going to work out or not. It isn't an outcome that's going to be affected. Sometimes things are affected by how we think they're going to work out, but sometimes they're not because sometimes it's part of our, our destiny you know it's part of our soul's experiences and whatever this thing is that you've been wondering about that this is one of those times and you're not meant to know the outcome so sorry about that group four <laughs> i feel that some of you might have been um i'm seeing it in some of the cards it's getting this feeling of tiredness you might have been tired or worn out or just feeling low in energy and this is the energy of this other person that's stuck in your energy that needs clearing out the fairies are saying if you have been feeling that way this is why okay so it's really important to engage in this self-care and self-healing time if any of you have done any kind of healing um workshops or courses this is a really good time for you to practice self-healing okay give yourself a few wonderful healing sessions it will really help and if you're into crystals they're showing me if you've got them to use some quartz points on your physical body wow this is very specific so starting at, at the crown at the top of the head pointing with the point down as if it was pointing down your body. And then if you've got more quartz points to place them on your body, all pointing down. And the fairies are saying this will draw in positive, fresh, new energy that will help in clearing out this stuck energy. So if that resonates with any of you, great. But if it doesn't, don't worry. If you're not into crystals, that's fine. Okay, any more messages, fair, fairies, before you want to go? They say, oh, they're just saying, do some things to have fun, group four. Do things that make you happy, okay? Do things that are going to uplift you. Whatever it is, do something that you enjoy, that makes you happy, that makes you laugh. They want to see you happy again, group four. Okay. Aww. They're giving you a big hug. How lovely. Thank you, fairies. So thank you for listening, group four. I hope that's been helpful. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. So I will see you again. Have a lovely day.